So one set of experiments that really showed the importance of not assuming the level of competency of a system was our work with Picasso tadpoles that rearranged their face. We have a way of communicating to a bunch of cells in the frog embryo that they should make an eye. And this is done via some bioelectrical signaling and we give them the signal and they go ahead and they build an eye. This does not require us to know how to build an eye. We don't specify all of the information needed to make an eye. All we do is provide that high level directive that resets the set point for these cells and they will go ahead and they will build an eye wherever we want in the body. If we move the various organs of the early embryo, you still get largely normal frogs because every organ will move around in novel paths, despite the fact that they start off in the incorrect position. That has huge implications for evolution because it means that the material can make up for a lot of damage and, and a lot of changes in the hardware. This is how biology works. It uses large scale triggers and then lets the lower levels handle this.